Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to try to be brief, but I'm going to talk about a couple of things that I have really been enjoying so far this year. And I know it's been a tough year, even though it's still early in the year, but I got a couple of birthday presents I'm going to share with you and a couple of products that I've bought. Something that was sent to me for review that I'm absolutely loving. So if you are curious, I hope you stay tuned. So I have some makeup, some skincare, and I think something that just surprises me how much it's made us feel good and you know I really sometimes I'll talk about something when I first start to use it but I don't really like to talk about it in depth until I've used it for a while and this little product is one of these uh, things because Jay and I love this and this is actually called the Relax Ultima I'm gonna put this up here I shared this with you guys I think in maybe three four videos ago, I'm not sure, but it is a neck massager. And oh my gosh, not only is this affordable, but it actually works. So what this is, I'm gonna take it out of the bag, um, because I store it in the bag that it came in. And so, so far, I think we've used this for three weeks. I've had to charge it once. And when I say three weeks, I'm saying double duty because both Jay and I use this. So it comes with a charger, a USB charger. You plug one end in right here where it opens up in the corner and you have to really make sure that you push it in securely. And then you plug this into your wall outlet or a plug or your laptop or whatever. When it is fully charged, It'll be solid like color. When it's fully charged, you can undo it. And then it has a little remote. This is awesome. It has this little remote and then has these two little prongs right here or two little connectors right here. You're supposed to make sure you don't have any jewelry on that can get caught up into it. And you're also supposed to make sure your neck is wet where this is going to connect to. So normally at night or in the day, whenever it is, I put this on. I make sure my necklace is either off or I have one that's long, I, I just pull it down. Wet the back of my neck and I'm not gonna turn it on, but I put it on just like this. And there's a little connection right here. You hold it in, it beeps, and it starts up. And then you go into this little mode here and you turn it you turn it on and it's going to increase the heat it's also going to increase this couple of different modes that you can go back and forth with intensity level with heat level with just that total massage level and you can increase it and decrease it to your comfort zone and as much as I've used it when I first turn it on after I have a position in my neck and I first turn this thing on I jump it's like a, it's like a whoa you know even though I know it's coming it's like a whoa I love, love, love this. Jay loves it. So we both use this. We've been using it pretty well consistently. Of each of us probably once a day for like a good three weeks now. And when you're done, this will shut off automatically for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes being on, it'll shut off automatically. When you're done, even if you didn't think you had any neck issues, you just feel so at least I did. I just felt so, I felt so good. It totally, totally relaxed me. I think it helped me sleep better, or at least when I went to bed, I was a lot more relaxed. And Jay absolutely loves it. He loves this so much that he was looking and looking because he wanted to get sort of like something for his lower back to, uh, to do very much the same type of a thing, to have that kind of um, massager. And um, so he did, he did find something that hasn't come in yet, but he ordered it and we'll see what it's like. But this is so super easy. There's only like four or five steps, turn it on. You know, can charge it up, turn it on. You can turn it off earlier if you don't want to go the 15 minutes, but I love it. Highly, highly, highly. I'm, I'm thrilled that I, I said yes. 
because as content creators, some of us will get a ton of emails with a ton of different types of products. And depending on, I guess, the level maybe of your channel, you don't, you know, I'm not going to get um, an offer from Maybelline, let's put it that way, or, you know, something like that. However, so I get all these offers sometimes in my email and I don't recognize the names and sometimes I open them up, sometimes I explore it. Well, this one I ignored. And then I went back to it because I sent another email and I looked at it. I said, let me really look at that. I talked to Jay. I said, do you think this would be something? And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, okay. And they, they sent it to me complimentary. Highly recommended. I will link the information below. If you have any kind, if you have any kind of neck things, you will love that. An oldie but, but goodie. And I'm just going to talk about frownies. I know this is not anything new, nothing exciting, but I think about two years ago, I got contacted by one of those companies that sends the email, and they had something to do with a patch on your neck, on your forehead, around your lips, and it was sort of like you wore it overnight. And it was a German company, I put it on, I wore it overnight, and it was supposed to stop you from you know, from your neck, from the wrinkles and all that. Well, I had a hard time sleeping with it overnight. I also had a hard time taking it off. But I love the concept of it. And then Jen Amber has these eye patches that I have that I absolutely love. But I also sometimes have a hard time removing it. I have a lot of loose skin, creepy skin. And so I took some of those eye patches and I would put them on my frown lines. Yeah, and I would sleep with them and they worked really good. Um, and then, I don't know where it was, when it was, but I got a hold of my first set of frownies. And these are just for frownies. They're just for those, in my opinion, your, your 11s. They can go along your forehead. You could modify them, put them really anywhere. But I really like this. And what it is, I'm going to show you. It comes, I mean, I think there's 144 patches. It comes like this. And you break this off. One side is shiny, and one side is the flat paper, and you just, but you tear it off like this. And you could, like, if you wanted to cut it, you could put it anywhere. What I normally do, the shiny part, after I do my skincare, after I've applied any Retin-A that I'm going to put on, and it's dried, and it's nothing mushy, this is when I'm going to apply this. I wet this with my finger, and the shiny part down, nice and wet, I usually go this way and I place it right there and I rub it in, you know, hold it in, hold it in tight. I probably hold it quite truthfully, maybe 20, 30 seconds. That's about it. And then it's really on there and I go to sleep with my frowny. So I'm so loving that I got my frownies. I had run out for a while. I stopped using it. Last year was a horrible year. I noticed that you know, about the time my dad died, I noticed that I had my, no matter what. And I know you're going to get those 11s when you're out in the sun, when you're squinting. I do a lot of computer work. But I noticed late summer that my frowns, my 11s, were really, really bad. So I started to improvise and I started to use a couple of other things. And I said, I'm going to get my frownies again. So I ordered my frownies and used them. And I'm so glad I used them. So I ran out. Oh, gosh. I ran out about maybe... Four weeks ago so I just got another batch um, yeah this is temporary what it does it makes it so that you can't frown overnight and if you are at all the type of person that might be thinking things you know if you're like me your mind kind of wanders overnight you're thinking this you're thinking that uh, and you'll frown at night in your sleep this kind of holds it in place I have not yet woken up with it gone. Once it sticks on there, it sticks on there. And then in the morning, I just kind of wet it down and, and peel it off. My frownies. I love, love my frownies. The next product that I bought, and I mentioned when I bought this, this is the Ordinary Copper Peptide. I had bought this I don't know now when I bought it, but um, I've been using it. I really, really enjoy it. Now, I use the copper peptide. This one's about $28. I think it's about a one ounce bottle. I use the copper peptide at night when I'm not using Retin-A. That's just how I do it. I mean, you can use it, I guess, 
in the morning, in the evening, whatever. Um, but I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not a skincare expert. I'm just a 67 year old woman. Uh, trying to do what I can to look as good as I possibly can, given how ancient I am. <laughs> so um, I use this on the nights that I'm not using Retin-A. So it's Retin-A, copper peptide. Retin-A, copper peptide. I've always liked the ordinary products. I have a number of different ordinary products, and I've just really enjoyed that. So I am liking this a lot. I can't use it every night. It's strong. My skin does get red. But I'm liking it so I would definitely repurchase this it's not empty but it's been a favorite of mine especially as I'm trying to get back into a positive good mindset and forward thinking yeah I'm just embracing the things that I've loved that I kind of like let fall off the wagon so I think it's like 20, under $30 I got it in Alta I think I had a coupon you know, when Alta has their sales or my points. But I think it probably goes for about $28, $29 at Alta if you want to get it there. I think you might be able to buy it. Did someone say Target? I'm not sure. But anyways, I love this. The other one from the Ordinary that I started using up again is their Marula Oil. I love Marula Oil. This is cold press. I think the Marula Oil is, I want to say it's like maybe $9 for something like this. When I put my marula oil on, I just put it on in upward motions. And because my skin is super, super dry, I have a really hard time with a lot of different products and a lot of different makeup. So I carry marula oil and I also carry the squalene oil, which I have from Timeless. The marula oil and the squalene oil, I, well, I'll put this right in my bio, my hair. You know, I'll put those oils in my hair and on my face as well. I think they're really, really good. The squalene, is really not greasy. I love it at work. I can do touch-ups if I need it. Good stuff. Really enjoying the Ordinary products again. So, whoops, made a mess here. Um, I talked about this. This was something that was sent to me from Alpine Beauty. It's Wild Craft. It activates. I mentioned it not too long ago because when you do an Octoly review, you do have to talk about it. But I have continued to use this. It's almost gone. It smells so pretty, and it's sort of like a polish peeling gel. I usually put it on my skin. My skin is dry. I put it on my skin, and I just kind of massage it around a little bit in circles, upward motion. Maybe after five minutes or so, I wash it off. Good stuff. I like it. Will I buy this? You know, I'm not too sure because I have so many other different polishing and exfoliating type gels that I'm really not too sure if I will or not, but I do, I do like it. So, monthly favorites, right? I was watching Natalie's video, Natalie the Beauty Diva, and she talked about these black face masks. And yes, I have a lot of cloth face masks. I'm always out. I'm always in the public eye. I'm always out working. I'm always doing something. So I, I like the idea of a disposable face mask too, depending on what I'm doing. So I bought these because they're black and they, they are really awesome. So Natalie turned me on to this. These are the face masks, you know, you put them on and they're pretty comfortable. And she also turned me on to these little straps. So I bought these little straps so you can strap it at the edge of your face mask. So if you're like me, right, I have this hanging around my neck when I'm at work. I take my mask off when I'm inside my office, but when I have someone coming in or when I'm walking the hallway or whatever, I, I want to put it on. So rather than hunt for it, it's always hanging on my neck. So this was really huge. Um, really glad I bought that. Really have been... If you can say you're enjoying face masks, I'm going to say I've really enjoyed those face masks. So, I don't know what, where I got this. I don't know what it's called. But the older I get, the more I love this product. And what it is, and you probably can get this in TJ Maxx because I think that's what I got it. It's got like a tweezer. And it's got a magnifying mirror. I think it's maybe five times or two times or, ooh, you know, anyways, I love this. So I carry this in my pocketbook and I can look at it and I can say, oh, I have a stray hair here or a stray hair there. I didn't see it in my regular mirror, but when I open this up and I take a look at it in this, I can see it. 
So this has just been, I'm so glad, I'm so glad I live in a day and age where these types of things exist because you can look yourself in the mirror and you can miss something and be out in public and not realizing you have a stray hair or something. So I'm really loving that. I'm really worried that this is going to be so long. Maybe I'll do my birthday stuff as a separate video. That's probably what I'm going to do and stick to stuff that I've been really using and loving. The other thing that I will mention, because I'm going to save my birthday stuff late for another video, is the Gold Bond Ultimate Neck and Chest Cream. I This is probably the third or fourth one of these that I've gone through. I really like that. It's not like I don't use it as a treatment, but it's sort of like the last thing I put on my neck when I'm going out. I put it on and I just rub gently up in an upward motion. I think it's super cool. I have a jade roller and I don't know if I have it in here, but I have a jade roller and I will sometimes just roll that jade roller up. Just like when I do my serums, a lot of times I'll use a jade roller. So this has been super, I think, awesome. Uh, I will definitely repurchase this because I really do like it. It's a drugstore. I don't remember what I paid for this. I really don't. But anyway, Gold Bond Ultimate Neck Chest Firming Cream. I don't know if it's firmed anything, but it does make me feel like my neck is better. And so that makes it worth it. And Flower Beauty. So I, this is Light Illusion. I talked about this when I bought it. But I'm telling you guys, if you like a light powder, and I'm not a powder person at all. I hate powder. But if you like some sort of like a light, just blurring, really pretty powder that doesn't look cakey, that doesn't make you look like a powder keg, and that's really important for me because I have dry skin. This is just so pretty. Light Illusion Perfecting Powder by Flower Beauty. I don't remember what I paid for it, but it was pretty reasonable. I definitely, definitely, and I've gone through a lot of powders, including I have the Boots Number no. 7 powder, I have a Maybelline powder, finishing powder, I have It Cosmetics Press Cow powder, I have Beck, I have a bunch of different powders that I have used, and I know this is a dupe for a high-end powder, I just don't know which one, because I don't use it. Um, but I can't, I, I highly recommend this. This is a really nice, nice powder. Works perfect for me. Dry skin. It just really, I think it looks really nice. So it gives you this illusion. It gives you this beautiful finish. Kind of a little bit blurring. Kind of even tones. Your makeup stays put. Yeah, I've been enjoying the heck out of this baby. I have. So, I have a number of eye creams. And I will talk about some of the eye creams because I have eye creams that I absolutely love. I'll talk about this separate. But one of the eye creams that I love a lot is from City Beauty. And this was sent to me complimentary. And I almost use this every single day. It's the Eye Revive Firming Serum. Now I have their eye cream. I really like their eye cream. I have their under eye recovery. I really like these. I don't use these every day. Sometimes I'm using the OM, the QMS eye cream and I use this I'm in conjunction with them. Um, I have a number of eye creams that I like. But this, I, this is really awesome. This is the Eye Revive Firming Serum and it comes out, it's like in a little you know, it, it's in a little, and it's cool to the touch. So I squeeze a little bit out. There's nothing coming out right now because I squeeze a little bit out and I start and I just put it in my under eye and it feels so good. And I think it makes my under, lie, under eyes look so much better. Absolutely love that. So I wanted to mention those things that I have been finding that are my favorites and, um, yeah, you know, life is too short to not find some favorites. So I could go on and on, but these are the products of this month that I have really, really been enjoying. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you come back and watch my other video. I'm going to record it after this, which will be my birthday gifts and my makeup that I got. <laughs>